I am R. Patrice Bryant, and you have entered into the discussion for a while we wait. And our topic today is how are you keeping yourself up? I just want to say thank you to everyone that's coming in and those who are already here. I am so encouraged. I have had wonderful feedback, um, people in other states. Um, I'm in Connecticut, in case you don't know, but there have been people who have said, please keep doing your videos because they are encouraging me and they're very informative and helpful. So thank you for your feedback. Anyone, please, you can, you can send a chat, you can inbox me or DM me, and I will certainly take what you're saying um, to heart because that's the way we become better at what we do is by your feedback. So thank you for being here. Thank you for those that are coming. Um, the first thing I'd like to tell you, and, and first time comers, thank you so much for joining me. Um, the purpose of Why We Wait, um, it's an informal motivational chat for the madams, young madams, and for our mature madams, such as myself. Um, it's a platform where I do real talk about different issues concerning I started out with unmarried women, but I'm finding that married women as well as men are joining me and they are very much welcome. Um, my focus are for young ladies and mature ladies from 19 and up, but I actually have younger ones that come on every time I come. I come on the first and the third Thursday of each month. So I want to thank you very much for coming on. Um, I wanted to do this after speaking with some women who were experiencing um, stigmas about being single or unmarried and I wanted to encourage women that it's okay there's nothing wrong with you if you're not married yet I also want to say that this platform is not to get you a mate but while we're waiting and waiting does not necessarily mean being stagnant but while we wait, while we are waiting, what are we doing to enhance ourselves? I have to apologize if you hear background noise. Um, I can hear my mother's music, and she's li listening to the Canton Spirituals, <laughs> so I apologize. Um, but I believe you can hear me okay. Feel free to to chat if you like. If you'd like to say something in the chat, so I I thought of doing something that would benefit women as a whole because we are most powerful, we are beautiful, and I always say that we're one of the greatest creations that God ever made. The other thing I like to say about women is that we set the atmosphere for wherever we are. Whether we are in our home, we are the ones that set the atmosphere. If you live with someone or if someone lives with you or if you are married, it is the woman that sets the atmosphere. If the woman's happy, they say the whole house is happy, so. Since we are atmosphere setters, we should definitely do it in a very empowering and pleasurable way uh, to, to, to embrace others and so others can easily approach us. Sometimes we can be unapproachable. Hey, Deke, I see you. <laughs> How you doing? 
So the first thing I'd like to say, since I, I uh, gave you my purpose, is really to empower and to um, share information. And I don't talk about anything that I have not done. I'm here because I have worked to put myself, to train myself to think correctly, to train myself to speak correctly, um, to engage others as well as to be a decent person and to properly function within my assignment in the earth and towards all humanity, all right? Um, the first thing I like to do is I always like to promote someone. I, that's one of my callings is to promote and to network. That's also a part of what I do here at While We Wait. Um, and I'm also going to share a few beauty tips. I did tell you for those returning that I would come on um, with a natural face because one of the things I did during COVID was to research. Uh, I was kind of pushed to, to research how to care for my skin um, because I am one of those that goes into the church to do streaming and with the lights and the heat during the summer, I had to find a way to keep my makeup on because I am, I don't perspire. Yeah, that's cute. I sweat. So I had to find out how do I keep this, keep makeup on um, with all of that. Uh, I'm not totally natural. I did do my eyebrows and my lashes today because I did a tutorial for a friend. Um, and I just put on some powder today to get rid of a little, little shine. But outside of that and some lip gloss, I'm pretty much um, natural. Hey, Rick, I see you. Thank you for showing up. Thank you so much, Rick. I appreciate that. So the first thing I like to do, and these products that I'm about to tell you about are for both men and women. So men, feel free to stick, stick on, stay on here. Um, I, my first one, I want to promote. Um, I talked about her last time, but I have picked up my product. And this is for men and women. This is her packaging. She was great packaging. This is by the young chemist. Her name is KK, and you can find her name, KK, on uh, Facebook. I can give you her information later. Hi, Pastor Kathy. Thank you so much for joining. So I was talking about rice water the last time I came on. Well, I picked up my rice water, um, and you spray it on your scalp and hair. I did research before I got this rice water. I, I was turned on by a... Uh, makeup artist who uses rice water and this is an amazing product which you keep in the refrigerator she does ship so if you want her information I can definitely get it to you um, and I use it twice a day I spray it on my scalp as well as my face my face and I went on YouTube and did some research for rice water so this is absolutely amazing hi Cynthia this is an amazing product. So I want to promote rice water made by the young chemist. Her name is KK and she's a teenager who has started on her journey of entrepreneurship. So we are very, very proud of her. Her customer service is amazing. You can already see that her packaging is great. This is what it came in. And this was $10 if I'm not mistaken. She will ship to you if you're interested. So again, if you're interested, please let me know and I'll get that information to you. Either DM me or inbox me or you can put it in the chat and I'll go back and give you this information. This is a great product. It promotes hair growth, but it also is a great thing for, for your skin all over. All right, it's a simple product. All right. Um, if you're interested in being a sponsor, you can also DM me or inbox me and I will definitely promote your product and I'll let you know um, what's required for me to do that. I'm working on my home studio, so I, I do ask for a small fee right now if you want to be pr promoted because I want to continue to do this in a um, more professional way. If you could see how I'm doing this, you would crack up, but I'm glad you can't see it. But I'm working to do it as professional as possible. All right. So how is everyone during all of this? This is definitely a different time. And I hope you are keeping yourself up. The topic today is how are you keeping yourself up? So I want to ask that question in regards to your, your mental, your emotional, your physical, and also your presentation. Um, we know that many have gained a few extra pounds. I've done the same, but I am working diligently every day. I'm going to get to that part. But how are you doing mentally? How are you keeping yourself up mentally? And then I also want to deal with age because 
for some reason we believe when we get to a certain age, then we should just let ourselves go. You don't have to let yourself go. And we have many examples of people that continue to look amazing. Uh, some may have a little extra help, whether it's surgery, you know, whatever it takes, but you don't have to let your, yourself go. And it's so important that you make you happy. You make you happy. You've got to love yourself first. And I say these things because these things need to be done before you get into a relationship because no one is going to love you like you love yourself. They don't know how. They don't know, even if you express what you need, they can take a stab at it or really work to try, but you really have to keep yourself up. And it's your responsibility. It's your responsibility to keep your heart um, happy. Okay, so mentally you can keep yourself up by doing meditation, exercises, supplements, and by staying connected. I walk at least three to five times a week. Um, I work to put my 10,000 steps in. I, I live very close to a park, so Beersley Park, for those that live in Connecticut or Bridgeport, I live very close and I go, and sometimes on a Saturday, I'll even go twice a day because it is, it is important for what I do, um, dealing with the everyday stresses. Um, I'm also the supplement queen. There are things that you, and you have to research for your own self, um, what's good for you. I have just reached out to a naturopathic doctor who is going to, um, I'm gonna have my blood drawn so I can begin to eat according to my blood type, which is going to make my body better, stronger, healthier, um, because with time, things change. So in, in order to enhance my health and keep myself up, I am going to do that for myself. Um, and I'm doing everything I know to do, but now I'm like, okay, let me find out if this is correct. Um, just another, uh, just a tip. Citrus smells wake up your senses. So sometimes if you find yourself a little sluggish or even a little down emotionally, you'd be surprised if you get some lemon oil or orange oil, any citrus oil. And if you have, and I don't, I didn't bring it out, or I have one here. If you have the, okay. This is just a small one. I also have the one that I sleep with, which changes colors. But this is just an aromatic fragrance uh, diffuser. You put water in it and you put the oil in it and it steams up so you can um, have a very nice fragrant uh, aroma in your home. Um, I also use eucalyptus oils in it because it, yes, Prayers, meditation, walking, auricular, I don't know if I said that right, auricular, <laughs> acupuncture, sage, and citrus. Um, yes, thank you for that. I also use uh, eucalyptus um, oil in my diffuser because I, because I sing and it uh, assists with keeping my throat and that whole passageway, um, I guess, moist. It can be very dry. The air can be drying, especially with the air conditioner and the fan. So that has been assisting me. Um, eucalyptus oil. I also have, I think it's called dragon fruit, which just has a nice smell. And you can mix them. So, yes, thank you, Rick. You're absolutely right. Sage and citrus is a wonderful fragrance, too. I did have a spray. So I'm going to have to look for the sage and citrus oil because um, it's wonderful. And there are a lot of uses for the essential oils. That's something... We can come back and talk about it another time, but it is something that will wake up your senses. Each fragrance has a different way of affecting you for the good. Um, lavender, you probably heard if you need to relax. Some people, you know, you go to sleep. That eucalyptus oil is really, really wonderful. Um, a supplement, I know some people take melatonin. Um, I don't have any, any, I have the gift of sleep. I don't need any help at all with sleep. Um, but melatonin tends to make me groggy the next day. However, I have found that it's called ashwagandha. <laughs> Don't ask me to spell it. But ashwagandha actually helps me relax. And it also um, it counteracts the cortisol in your stomach. So my biggest thing right now is the cortisol in my belly. I'm really working to strengthen my core and 
you know, you may not, I'm not stressed out. I don't have anxiety, but there are certain stresses, you know, every day that you, you just deal with or something happens and it releases the cortisol in your stomach. This, these are things, go look them up. I am the YouTube queen, so I don't talk about anything I don't know about. So ashwagandha actually counteracts um, the cortisol and allows me to relax at night and I sleep, I wake up very refreshed. So that's a natural supplement, something that I take. Um, and I hope that helps someone. Physically, don't let yourself go. Um, this is uh, fun for me because um, as I was stating before, a lot of times people just let themselves go. They're like, oh, I'm 65, oh, I'm 75. Well, I met a woman and there's a young lady, her name is Heather. Um, Heather is my daughter's best friend and they've known each other, I think since they were like two or three. Um, my daughter in love. I, I, I usually don't say in love or in, lo in law, but just so I can differentiate, I'm saying I think. Um, so I would know if it was my biological daughter, but if I'm not mistaken, Heather is, Heather is Jewish and my family is international. So, but Heather's grandmother, um, when I met her, I met her only once. She was, I want to say 91, 94. Well, Heather's grandmother was in a wheelchair but she had her face beat. Well, okay, let me fix that. Her face was still made up at 91. I applaud um, the mature women that don't stop keeping themselves up. That is so important. And that is not for someone else, though they may enjoy it, but that is for you. Let me tell you what I, my thing is, I don't go out the house without earrings. Don't ask me why. I work out in earrings. I'll put studs on. I just, I feel naked. Like I will go out driving and turn back around and be like, oh my God, I forgot my earrings. So there should be something. What, what is your thing um, that you must have every day? Um, I was doing um, a virtual women's conference. Um, I did their praise and worship and they had the mature women speak to, yep, yeah, have a good one, Rick love you there was a mature woman who came on and she was speaking to the younger women and she may have been in her 70s and she said always wear your lipstick um and that was just a wisdom now that might not be your thing but it's just giving you something to think about what is it that you do that makes you feel good that's what you should do whatever that is um i want to give you something something else you should always keep yourself even if no one else is in the house but you even if at nighttime, what you sleep in, it so matters. Um, even since we, we've been quarantining, I mean, we're, we're, we're out a little bit more now, but even in the house, how do you present yourself to you? That's, that's what makes you feel good. During COVID, you know what? After I went to work out, I came back in, I showered up, and there were many days that I put my makeup on anyway because we had morning Zoom calls for work. Um, but I dressed up. Because why? That made me feel good. And these are just little tips of how, how do you make yourself feel good? And this is not for anybody else. Like you've got to do it for you because you're worth it. You are worth it. Um, and then whatever your goals are, whatever your goals are, how you want to look. Like I have, I have now Jada Pinkett's mom, Jada Pinkett Smith, her mom is gorgeous i mean she's got the bikini body now i don't know now i know they have a gym in their house i've seen it but i don't know if she has um done, had surgery done or whatever now I'm, i don't want to do surgery because i know i'm able to do it myself however she's i think she was 60 when i first saw her and i have her on my vision board that's amazing you need to find out what do i want to look like what do i want to be like in 10 years or whatever age you are and what are you willing to do to obtain that goal like baby steps honestly baby steps and you can do it so your presentation is important not just to other people but you feel better you know what if you're feeling down if you will shower put your you know everybody doesn't wear makeup that's fine but if you shower do your hair and honestly if you're going out and just say, oh, I just have to run to the laundromat. I just have to run to the grocery store. There's a way to present you without getting all the way dressed up. Okay, 
So if you have long enough hair to put it in a ponytail, rock the hat with the earrings and some lip gloss, like minimum. But you should always look your absolute best, not for anyone else, but for yourself. For yourself. You can put on a, a sweatsuit and, and look absolutely amazing. Do it for you. When you go to bed at night, at, at, take a shower, um, put, on a, put on nice night clothes. You just sleep better. Do it for you and smile as much as you can. Even if you don't feel like it, you can smile yourself into feeling better. You absolutely can. And it adds value to your face when you smile. Um, there are, I won't even go into that part. <laughs> um, for presentation, how are you taking care of your skin? How are you taking care of your nails? Now, I, I let my uh, acrylic come, um, come off. So I've really been working on my nails because um, after the acrylic comes off, your nails get jacked up, they're weak. So I've been working on that by soaking my hands in different in oils. I have mixed oils and I soak them in argan oil, uh, coconut oil, blessed oil, <laughs> black castor oil, Jamaican black castor oil. Um, and I'll just soak them for a little while. And then, and then also there are um, glove mask that you can get just like for your face that you can put on for 30 minutes and then you just rub your hands together and these products I, I don't have it with I didn't bring it out with me but it's a dollar at the dollar at Dollar Tree so you don't have to spend a lot of money for these things these are things that I was forced to learn um, during COVID uh, one of my therapies daily before we were able really to go back out like we are now I would be the first person at Dollar Tree every morning at eight o'clock. I didn't need anything. That was just my, I needed to get out and do something. Um, just wanna share a couple of beauty tips before I go off, cause I'm almost done. Um, to whiten your teeth, this is your presentation. This is Hello, and it's a charcoal toothpaste. It is activated charcoal, with, it tastes good, with fresh mint and coconut oil. And it's an epic whitening fluoride free toothpaste. So I don't use this every day. Um, I still use fluoride, but let's see if I can do it without making a mess. It is black. It is a black toothpaste that whitens your teeth. And if this is not economical for you at this time, Peroxide and baking soda will do the job. Make a paste with peroxide and baking soda and the grit will take, and, and actually that's a good pr uh, practice before you go to your, your uh, dentist to get your teeth clean because it will also loosen up whatever is on your teeth. So, hello, it's not a lot of money. That is for your teeth. It's a tooth whitener, very inexpensive, Walmart. Um, and the other thing I wanted to show you, I, I said before um, one time that I thought I took good care of my skin before COVID. And I found after doing research that I was doing okay. So I, I'm not going to go into all of the products, but after you wash your face and you use your toner, um, toner or witch hazel, these are three products that are amazing. Hola. <laughs> so this is a retinol serum. Retinol, R-E-T-I-N-O-L. And I got these three as a package. There's three things I got on Amazon. And I, I use them twice a day. The other one is a vitamin C serum. And this is for your skin. And you can look up what you need it for. I won't explain everything because I'm actually over my time. I only want to be 15 minutes. <laughs> and the last thing is, okay, help me. Hyaluronic acid. That's it. I said it. And this is a hydrator for your skin. I'm not going to say it again because I don't want to mess it up. So these are three products that you can get on Amazon. All right. After you wa wash your face, you use your toner or witch hazel or, wh or whatever you're, you do. And you put, you only need a little bit. You put them on, I put retinol on. I have like frown lines right here, I'm being very transparent. And it assists with my makeup going on and staying on. All right, so those are three products that you can use. Hold on one second. Uh, 
So that's about it for today. Um, give me one moment. I'm working with, uh, I told you I have a makeshift, uh, <laughs> I have a makeshift uh, studio here. So in essence, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted you to think about how am I keeping myself up? Are you eating healthy? Are you thinking good thoughts? And it's not like sad thoughts or, or thoughts of fear don't come to us. They absolutely do. The other thing that I missed is um, in regards to your mental and your emotional, you have to stay connected. No one is an island unto themselves. You need to stay connected with someone. We all need someone. Question is, where, where is your heart safe? Where do you go for your safe place for your heart? Mine is my family. Sunday is family day. Um, so that's where my heart is safe. Everybody needs a, a safe place for their heart. Where can I go and just, you know, and, and though this is not so much a religious show, I can't help it, it's in me. You know, I believe that Lazarus, Martha, and Mary were, were was that place where Jesus went. It was his safe, it was a safe place for his heart. Because the Bible says that Lazarus was his friend. And I'm, I'm speaking of the story where, you know, Martha and Mary, one of them was running around cleaning and cooking and the other one was sitting at Jesus' feet. So I believe everyone needs a safe place for their heart. You know, you got to stay connected. Make new friends. What are you doing in COVID? Like, what's happening? What are you doing to enhance yourself? One of the things I did was I actually learned how to properly put on makeup. <laughs> um, so, I, I mean, I'm still enhancing myself, but what are you doing? Um, I am a career counselor by profession, and I'm always looking at how can I enhance them. So even on my own time, I'm looking at gathering information. You know, you have to look at yourself and say, what's my assignment? We, we are really at a place now. What is my assignment? How can I be relevant in the 21st century? What am I doing to be relevant? Because we're not in a new norm. As I hear my pastor say all the time, this is not a norm. This is a new. This is a new place that we've never been before. And... We've got to roll with the punches. We have to be flexible and adaptable. The last thing I want to say is I posted a YouTube clip and it's PPE 101. I don't remember what the lady said.